card, reeds, and a select jazz alto sax mouthpiece. today's vlog. They are my old vlog episodes going way back to episode one and the reason I'm doing that is not only have we just broken the 7,000 subscriber bar barrier, 7, 000, or it's not really a barrier but seven, let me bring you 7,000 subs. Thank you to every single one of you and what made me think about this is I just wanted in the comments below Tell me when you join. Tell me if you're a, if you're a subscriber. Maybe it's today. Uh, let us know today. But if you've been here for a long time, let us know because I find it really, really interesting. Just even flashing back. The main reason I'm doing that is I just kind of want to see. Um, I'm thinking about doing like a top five episode thing for the 400th vlog. So I want to try and go through and shortlist my top five or something like that, or just give you some ideas and then put it out to a public vote. Anyway, I have got today. Ooh. The magical Daddario giveaway pack. So if you want to win everything that's in this box, then what you need to do is click the link below. It's just in my, my comment. So there is... Let me bring this top camera in. There's just loads of stuff they've sent me. There's reeds, there's a neck strap. There's a Daddario mug, there's Regard, Reeds, and a Select Jazz Alto Sax mouthpiece. If you would like to be in with a chance, and thank you so much to the guys at Daddario, hit the button below for the link. You have to be a subscriber and yeah, a few other things, but it's a genuine thing. It's not stealing your data or anything, I promise you. It's just a great way. And then I just basically hit a button and it randomly chooses a winner. So I don't even get the chance to, to choose who wins, which is, which is good, it keeps things fair. I am also gonna throw in five copies of my Jazz Vespers CD signed, or another one of my albums if you've already got the Jazz Vespers, plus maybe more, coffee with Dan mugs, uh, which, I have a few left from the previous sale before, so they will go out to kind of like the second and the third places, but first place prize you get that little Daddario goodie bag and some more. It's worth, I would conservatively say, at least 250 pounds. I kind of can't make my mind at what I'm doing with either the beard or the hair right now. It's my brother's wedding in a few weeks. I'm trying to kind of have something I can work with. <laughs> So what I'm looking at here is a 2.5 lake from Bramford Marsalis that I lifted off his recording of It Don't Mean A Thing. And the great thing about It Don't Mean A Thing is you've got those, I get like so many standards, you've got these 2.5.1 followed by another 2.5.1. Anyway, the opening, it's kind of like an enclosure, but it's not because enclosures tend to be clo uh, closer to the principal note. But if you imagine you're on a G minor scale, he's aiming for G. He's aiming for G, and what he's doing is playing A, B flat, F sharp, G. So what's a good idea to practice is then to take that, I think I did this on the live yesterday for, I can't remember, honestly what I did yesterday some days, and then take it around the circle. So I'm on G, uh, my next one on the circle is C, so I'm thinking about the nine, which is gonna be D. And then on to F. B flat, so starting on the ninth. A. Um, e flat. Just a nice way to start a minor and just get your head into that. Obviously you can take the whole thing round, which is what you're aiming to do as you get further around. But just practicing those little things. Often a lot of the comments I've had when I've been talking about the practice journal, 
is how to get started and often feeling overwhelmed about how to get underway with something particularly when it comes to practice and it's true you can watch YouTube and you think oh wow that's a great idea you might be thinking oh damn it's great pause let's play it and then you kind of forget about it and what you need to do is you need to get to the point where you you go back and you go over the same thing but also as well a video I did ages ago before I started vlogging was talking about treating practice like a big piece of chocolate cake and um, there's a famous scene in Matilda where you know where the boy uh, eats the Trunchbull's cake and he gets made to uh, I think I've probably mentioned it, maybe even put it in a clip before, but then it has to be made to eat the whole cake in front of the whole school, can't manage it, you know, all that kind of thing. It's the same thing with so much of our practice. We try and eat the whole thing in one sitting. What we need to do is just take a small slice and just work on it. And a small slice from this exercise is just getting that opening right because you don't want to sound like a Bramford Marsalis clone. What you want to be able to do is just use that idea and take it somewhere else. So you might start it, if I go to that G minor, it's... <laughs> So you're going G minus C, so... This is from a blues, from a, a shop I went to in New York, this is like 14 years ago, uh, and it's written by uh, Charles Collin, sorry, it's written by Lance Van Letten, who I've never really heard of, maybe some of you have, please tell me about him if you have, um, but it was this shop, uh, Charles Collin on uh, West Street, West 53rd Street in New York, that I visited years ago. And um, I was giving away some books. I'm going to give this book away as well, which is 24 Melodic uh, Studies for Saxophone. It's stuff that hasn't really been looked at. I'm just having a blow through it before I give it away to you lot. But I've been down here teaching most of the day, and I always said this before many vlogs. I just kind of I find it really difficult to get motivated to do practice. But the kids are going to be home from their summer school in about 10 minutes, so I really want to make sure I get as much practice. Oh, that really cute. Can you see that? <laughs> I think I'm like a vlog 38 on this review at the moment and it's if you've been with me since the beginning thank you so much because my editing then was shockingly bad um, I mean it just kind of um, uh, uh, um, no kind of edit of the pieces to camera or anything like that and it's quite difficult doing pieces to camera maybe if you want me to I can show you um, some, there you go, there's an end of the ways I put together a vlog if you're interested in creating your own because I know a few of you do. Just before I go, I'm thinking about creating an introduction which is the same for every vlog once we get on to maybe like the 390s. I know that people like Casey Neistat have now done that with their vlog. I've always had a different kind of intro. I know we've got the intros now for Q&A and Coffee with Dan, but I wonder, do you think it'd be a good idea, would you forgive me if, would it be too much of a change around if I went for a kind of set intro uh, each time? Because all the best TV programs have a set intro and I've used the intro sometimes to sort of set the scene for the vlog, but I wonder if it's time to go for a definitive Dan's vlog intro. I'll see, I'll see what I do. Maybe we can make a vlog episode out of that. Speaking of vlog episodes, uh, this is the end of today's. Don't forget, if you haven't already, you need to join that competition. The next vlog, I'm gonna draw the winners on that and I'll also do a Q&A vlog, so please do let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to check out my last vlog here. This is what I was up to this time last year. Hit the subscribe button if you don't already. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you really, really soon.